designing and implementing our enterprise content taxonomy made it obvious that in order uh, to address the problems that we had with content findability on intel.com, we were going to have to pay uh, particular attention to enterprise search. And the goal was to make sure the assets that we had invested in, uh, in both the uh, enterprise marketing taxonomy and the enterprise content taxonomy gave our search um, application uh, the best chance of success. So the way to build an enterprise taxonomy, and at Factor, we, that's what we do, we've done a lot of them, uh, that's going to be successful is you have to consider the information behavior and information needs of all of your users, whether those are external customers or whether they're internal uh, users or staff. That way, no matter what capability you apply to it, you'll have the meaning embedded into that core taxonomy itself. Once we got to search, here are some of the decisions we needed to make and here's how the enterprise taxonomies we created helped us make those decisions and make integration and onboarding easier. So first we ask ourselves, what is our information supply chain? Is it a game of telephone like this or is it uh, more coherent and rationalized? Data quality has downstream effects. When you start with good, clean values at the beginning, it leads to better results downstream. When you build an enterprise taxonomy based on user research, it truly reflects user mental models. When your taxonomy reflects user mental models and they are adapted to search, the search experience is much more likely to be meaningful. And meaning matters. From a content perspective, your system of meaning helps users find and orient themselves within the concepts expressed in your content. If product information is your challenge, it improves users' ability to find the right products, and as everybody knows, customers can't buy products that they can't find. <laughs> 